Hey everyone, Dylan here, and uh, like I said with the previous video I filmed, I showed a little bit how I used the laptop. In this one, I'm going to briefly show how I use Audacity, which is an audio editing recording program. And so I'm just going to get right into it. Audacity checkbox selected checked. <clears throat> My cat might appear slightly in the video because he's sitting next to our uh, laptop. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to briefly do, I probably should have tested this before, but I'm just going to actually, um, you do a lot of, basically for me, everything is done with shortcuts in Audacity. Um, so for when I want to get to like all the options stuff, I kind of, I hit alt to go through alt and I can go through all the tabs up top and and when I want to go to, um, you know, into those, I just hit down. And then I just go through. And another thing that I would do is if it had another arrow to it for even more options, I would hit the right arrow button and it'd go down. And then eventually I would hit the enter button to choose when I wanted to do something. Um, so I'll get off that and then I'll hit alt back to get to my, um, my track list, my timeline. And then I'm going to quickly record something um, just stupidly. Hopefully the mic is all set to do that. Not my mic, but the computer mic. It'll be crap, but it'll it'll show you. So, um, and I can just hit the R button here to record. Track one. Recording. This is just a random test so I can do some stuff. So, uh, and uh, basically I would just hit... Uh, the space button to stop the recording. Uh, let's see if that worked. And then to play it, I would hit the space button or the space bar again. Guess it's not working. I probably don't have the right mic selected or something. You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what? But yeah, but the waves need to be long. Oh, there's no way. Yeah, no. Um, so, okay, that doesn't matter. Um, it's not playing anymore, right? Right. Um, basically, um, I usually have a different, an actual mic set up to it, so that's why the it's probably not working like this. But because it's still a thing, you'll be able to visually see it. You may not be able to hear it, but for me, um, to select a track, this will be counted as a track, I can hit the enter button. If I want to unselect it, I just hit that again. And then it's no longer selected. But we select that. And then another thing I can do um, to kind of select it, I can hit control and an A to select the whole thing. Like, and that way I could cut it. Um, I know the shortcut for cut, it's like control C, or you could do whatever. And then if I really want to get specific and dial down a part I want to cut out or really edit, um, I put this as my own shortcuts. I don't remember if it was the action, the original shortcut, but I'd hit, uh, what is this, left bracket. Select selection boundary. And then I'd select, and then I would like type in the exact time and, so, and you know, choose where I want the left bar to be. And then I'd click OK, but I'm just going to escape out of that. And then... Um, and then I would hit the, the right and choose the right, and then I would do anything I would need to do. And um, so stuff like that. And this is selected, so I'll just, I don't know, cut it. Or I guess I, I'll just go up here and delete it. Or we'll just, we'll just undo the, the control, which I knew the shortcut for that too, but just showing you how things work. And basically I just work, work in this, and normally when I actually have a file that has sound, I would go and edit it and do all that kind of stuff. So this was kind of like a brief look, kind of fail. I failed a little bit because I was I, about the mic thing, but you got the idea. But this is just how a blind person, you know, uses, um, you know, c the computer to possibly edit audio in Audacity. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that and found it educational. But uh, yeah, um, 
Thank you guys for watching. Like the video and all that good stuff. I will see you in the next video.